Hey, what's good, YouTube? You're back with your man, Lucas Lawman's back in the studio. Christchurch! South Island of New Zealand. With yet another NZ Kick Chat. Kick. Ass. Sneaker. Review. Thanks for coming to hang out with us. Appreciate you being here. If you're new here and you enjoy what you see, that is my take on sneaky culture, New Zealand style, then by all means, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, because then you'll know when I'm releasing vids. We cover all sorts of kicks on this channel, as well as anything sneaker related. And speaking of which, if you're keen to get involved in sneaky culture, come and check this one out. That is NZ Kick Chat. It's our Facebook group, probably the best one on the internet, just quietly. The open, inclusive group. We just love anyone that has an interest in shoes. Hey, now we've got the admin done, we're getting more and more efficient on that bad boy by the day. Up on the pedestal, we've got you a bit of dunks. One of the more interesting pairs, if I was to be totally honest, shout out to my man, Christian Brett, down south and Dunners for lending me these shoes for the review. So let's grab them off the pedestal. Whew. This, my friends and family, is a dunk with a little bit of a story. Looking forward to bringing it to you, having a bit of a yarn. This is the Nike SB Dunk Low Pro VX1000 camcorder. Much in the same way that I've been put off J1s recently with the massive height and the difficulty of copying and the crazy resale prices, I've got the same issue with Dunks. I really like the silhouette, I love that classic cup sole as much as the comfort is lacking, although these being a pro they have a little bit more to that. Even so far as I named the Civilist SB Dunk Low Pro from last year, that collab is my shoe of the year. I absolutely loved that, the way it looked when it wasn't heated up, the way it looked when it was heated up. And yes, the SB Dunk Low Pro is a classic silhouette. I've never owned a pair because of that difficulty to cop, because of the resale price, because they are, at the end of the day, a basically made shoe. I just don't think they're worth that. But it's cool to be able to get them in hand, have a yarn about them, and maybe you never know if the hype dies down, I might get myself a pair. But we've still got these bad boys on feet, and forgive me in advance for the clown shoe vibe, because these are a size 12, I'm a size 11, and I just thought it was worth still giving you the on feet. So we'll give these the full NZ kick jet breakdown, starting with the materials up top. So it is quite quality, to be totally honest. It's a mixture of new buck and suede, both in that gray, those two different tones of grey. Starting at that toe box, it is a real nice soft to the touch new buck. Uh, not quite this way, but it is soft. It's, it's creasing nicely straight away, which is really, really cool to see. And come around to the lateral side, classic Dunk Low Pro in this uh, or silhouette in these two tones of grey and this black. They're all in this nice, soft to touch new buck. The light grey is a little bit thicker to touch, and that's including on the swoosh. But what's really cool, obviously, with the story of these guys and the VX1000, they've given it these camcorder vibe markings across it. Now I'm just going to jump into the breakdown now and give you a bit of a brief background as to what the VX1000 is all about. So the VX1000 is a Sony camcorder, looks a little bit like that, that was released back in the early to mid 90s due to the way that they sat in hand, due to their versatility, their portability, they fast became a skater's favourite. So you'll see them out in the field there regularly still to this day. So they've become a skater's staple, skater's favourite. So these, this collab was done to recognise that and specifically so being an SB Dunk Low Pro and a collab it was dropped at skate shops only which made them a little bit harder to get as well. So consequently resale prices on these 
are through the roof as dunks have been recently but more so when it's a collab that's especially limited but that's why you've got these player control peak record level white balance all across that little side which i love the look of that it takes you right back to those camcorders to those vcrs back in the 90s even the late 80s and with the yellow and red oil it's just at the top there and on the tip of the the laces as well that's giving you the stop and pause buttons which is fantastic coming around to the heel you've got the classic nike retro branding on the top of the heel with a splash of that teal green it's embroidered, embroidered there in black which is nice as we come around to the medial side you've got shutter speed on the heel on that black new book program all of these classic buttons that are going to be on the camcorder which is really nice that soft to the touch quality feeling still a synthetic but a leather suede nubuck type situation goes right across the medial side as well with the classic dunk low uh, slight differences in terms of the silhouette and as we come back around to the toe box and up the lace counter and up we go they come with black laces they also do come with a light gray i think personally they're going to look good with either of those which is nice and then you've got the sb dunk low pro tongue which puts a few people off i personally think it's one of the better features and which elevates these above your average low like your j1 and that is this puffy tongue as we go into the inside of the shoe standard hard wearing sort of nylon sock liner nothing to speak of but then of course on the insole they have a nice thick polyurethane midsole we'll chuck that bad boy down there and they haven't brought this up again since the blue furies but they come with a zoom ear unit in the heel you can definitely feel that on foot and you can feel it if you give it a bit of a squeeze zoom ear nike sb branding and then of course we've got the timer in the teal green on the bottom of the heel which is a nice wee touch nodding to the camcorder once again loving the look of that so overall these nike sb dunk low pros vx1000s are a really nice shoe fairly neutral they haven't gone over the top with the collab they've kept it pretty simple it's got it gives you that striking visual appeal of a camcorder or a vcr i can feel that all over and i traditionally as a 40 year old kid of the 90s i am loving the way that those look so really cool to get them in hand in terms of sizing they appear to fit true to size that was generally that full size widths room in that for me at the front so whatever you get in your j1 lows or your sb dunk lows stick with that i think it's fairly true to size and that'll be us that is the nike sb dunk low pro vx 1000 camcorder a little bit of an interesting collab for you that's paying homage to one of the favorite bits of electronics from skating culture thanks for coming to hang, hang out with us appreciate you being here it's been fun talking about another pair of kicks and we will see you on the next one Boop. sb dunk low